Should I marry my significant other and apply for a spouse visa or file as a fiance without getting married first? Hi, Jim Hacking here, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States out of our office here in St. Louis, Missouri. We get this question from time to time from couples that have been together for a while but have not yet gotten married. And they want to know, is it better to come to the United States from overseas as a spouse or fiance? So the process is are relatively similar, but they're also a little bit different. So let me talk a little bit about it. When a person wants to sponsor their fiance, we have to prove that they've been in each other's physical presence at some point in the last two years. Obviously, we don't have to prove they're married because they're not married yet, but we are going to have to show that they've been together with each other sometime in the last two years. And the way that we do that is with photos, with trip tickets, with documentation of travel, these kinds of things to show that the two have been together. We also have to demonstrate that the couple intends to get married within 90 days of the non-citizen's arrival to the United States. So typically we do that with an affidavit from both the U.S. citizen and the non-citizen saying that the plan is that once the non-citizen arrives in the United States that they will go either to the courthouse or a chapel or somewhere and get married and then apply for adjustment of status that way. On the spouse visa side, Obviously, at this point, the couple's already married. So typically, the U.S. citizen has gone overseas. They've either met in the home country of the non-citizen or they've met in some third country and gotten married. They've gotten a marriage certificate, and they're going to apply through the I-130 process. Now, as things stand now, right now in 2016, spouse visas are going a lot slower than fiancé visas, and we see this from time to time. So. Sometimes uh, the processing time to get a fiancé here is relatively similar to a spouse, but lately, for the last year or so, fiancés have been coming to the United States a lot faster than spouses. So if the couple has not yet gotten married, we often encourage them to go the fiancé route, especially if we can demonstrate that they've been in each other's physical presence. And so this leads to some people to come to us and they want to say, well, Jim, we may have had a marriage ceremony, but we're not really married, and that can be tricky. So obviously, you can never tell a lie to the Immigration Service. You don't ever want to submit fraudulent documents. But if you haven't uh, recorded the marriage, if it's just been a religious ceremony or an engagement, then you can go the fiancé route, but you really have to play it straight. You can't lie or pretend that you're fiancés when you're actually married. Now. So speed is definitely one of the issues to think about when considering whether to come as a fiancé or a spouse. Let's talk about strength of case and likelihood to get it approved. Now sometimes if there are things in the relationship between the fiancé and the U.S. citizen, things like maybe big age differences or racial differences that um, stem from people being from different countries and that they think that the couple isn't really legitimate, they don't speak the same language, they'd have very few similarities, these kinds of things. When the couples are different, when they're fundamentally different and we worry that some racist asylum officer or immigration officer at the State Department is going to give us trouble, if we're worried that they're going to say, well, this couple is too different and we don't really believe that this is a valid engagement, then we may encourage the couple to go ahead and get married and apply as a spouse. We believe that some cases are just fundamentally stronger when filed as a spouse as opposed to as a fiancé. In other words, State Department officials often look at fiancé cases and sometimes, like I said, if there's too many of those differences that we think that people are going to uh, nitpick about or take advantage of or use to deny the case, then we may encourage the couple to go ahead and get married because that demonstrates a, another level of commitment, a seriousness, uh, an intention of purpose, that the couple is in fact married. Sometimes goes a long way towards carrying the day and getting the case approved. So these are complicated issues. We do not encourage you to do these on your own. We think that if you want to uh, come and bring your loved one here, that it's an important issue, that you want to spend time thinking about and doing it correctly. We want to make sure that we put your case in a position as strong as possible. We understand that it's difficult to be separated from your loved one, and we understand that you want to get them here as fast as possible. But sometimes you really need to consider the strength of the case and getting it approved as opposed to just getting them here as quickly as possible. Uh, the, one other concern that you have sometimes is that when you come as a fiancé, you may be headed towards a green card interview here in the United States. So after the couple gets married 
and they file for adjustment of status for the fiance to change their status to that of lawful permanent resident, sometimes there are interviews involved at the, at the immigration office in your local town. And if we think that there's going to be trouble from the local immigration office, then we might also encourage you to go the marriage route. So these are the kinds of things that we think about. This is the kind of thing that we talk to our clients about, and we spend a lot of time thinking it through, talking it through, to make sure that we make the best decision because we want to get the case approved. We want your spouse or your fiance to be here, to be in the United States safely, and we want to do everything we can to protect you. So if you have any questions about whether or not your case is a good fiance case or a good spouse case, or if you need some help evaluating that, feel free to give us a call at 314-961-8200, or you can email us at jim at hackinglawpractice.com. We hope you like this video. If you did, please subscribe to us on YouTube. We try to update the videos every week. And if you have any topics or issues that you'd like us to cover, just email us and we'll try to shoot a video about it. Thanks a lot and have a great day.